Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have my last haul of 2016. So, with that said, Happy New Year and let's get started. So this haul consists of hair care stuff, skin care, makeup of course, a few little accessories, shoes, and a little giveaway. So, the thing that I am the most excited excited about is this! Ah! So here's this beauty. I mean, just look at it. It almost looks like a hammer, <laughs> but it is super light. It has three heat settings, three uh, the power settings as far as how hard it'll blow. It has a cool shot. It comes with a couple of attachments with our magnetic, and I think they're super cool. The only thing that I have to maybe complain about is the fact that the cord looks like a laptop. But other than that, it's a great, powerful game changer when it comes to hair dryers. So I am a stylist and I do blow dries all the time. And with the standard blow dryers, they're pretty heavy and pretty bulky. It does, it over time, you know, it causes a little wrist pain, a little carpal tunnel. But what I've noticed with ever since I've gotten the Dyson is that I'm going through actual blow dries a lot faster. I don't feel any pain in the wrist. I can just keep going on and on and on and on. I love it definitely worth the investment and overall for me in general professional hair tools are already expensive so that I think is definitely worth it I did pick up some stuff from Ulta I love my Biterry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder very very much but I wanted to try something new because I don't know I'm always wanting to try something new so I saw this on the Ulta site this is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder it's in the shade Warm Saffron, which is recommended for medium to deep skin tones. It's more so the, the yellow beige tone. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying this out, to maybe baking with it to see how it performs. So I got that. And what was pretty cool was at the time they offered like a free um, deluxe size of their traditional loose powder. I guess it's the regular one that's white. So I got that, which is a good size, so I'll definitely know if I like the product or not. And if not, I can always throw this in my makeup kit to use on clients, you know, in the future. So I also picked up some regular necessities. Um, picked up a highlighting comb, a teasing comb. I picked this headband up because I just thought it was so cute. And why not for when you're doing makeup? It's called the Dolly Makeup Headband. How adorable is it? It's like, it's that terry cloth material and it's pretty thick, actually. So this is nice, like right after you wash your, or even for masking, I thought this would be nice to just pull all my hair back. So I got that, it's so cute. I picked up just some hair care stuff. Cause they had like, I think it was buy three, get one free. I did get the Matrix um, clarifying shampoo that's in the shower because every every other month I like every month I like to clarify my hair to get rid of all the residue and build up and all that stuff. It's definitely recommended to clarify your hair every so often. Um, this is another great product from Matrix. It's the Instacure. It's a leave-in that has a ton of benefits and proteins and things that the hair needs. So I got one of those. And then I got this because I wanted to try it. It's something I've never tried. It is also from Matrix. It's their Total Results Miracle Creator 20. It's got 20 uh, multitasking treatments in it. So got that. Now I did a little, little tiny, tiny bit of damage at MAC. Not too bad. I picked up some stuff from the, um, the Mariah collection. What I could because that thing was, whoa, way, way way insane <laughs> but I'm glad for what I did get um, I picked up a pair of lashes they're nice and natural they're nice and fluttery kind of like something I would typically wear on the daily I don't know what they are I don't know what they're called but they're these ones the less dramatic ones I was able to get one of the lipsticks that I wanted from the Mariah Carey collection with Mac in the shade I get so OC o -O -C? I don't know Oh yeah, I get so OOC, whatever that means. <laughs> the packaging, oh my god. 
Like this is totally Mariah. I got this this darker shade because all of the other shades were just so past like pale. Like no. <laughs> Wouldn't work for me. Not my cup of tea. Okay. Next up, I managed to get this thing. The My Mimi. <laughs> This beauty with her little face on it. Oh my god. Like super, super gorgeous. I refuse to touch it. I refuse. It's too cute. I'll eventually touch it and probably like work on the sides. But it is more so like a gold highlight. But it's technically an extra dimension skin finish. So I picked up a brush, the 248. It's a synthetic flat brush. I wanted to get this because I wanted to start using more pigments and stuff. So I picked that up and I also picked up a pigment in the shade. Oh my god. What the heck is the shade? <laughs> Rose. One of the little ones. Because honestly, I have a few of their regular size pigments and I never... It's impossible to go through a whole one. So I got this little guy in the shade Rose picked up the mixing medium that I want to use with the um the pigments I figured I'd pick one up because I need I need it anyways and I can use it with other pigments and other shadows so this is what it looks like I also picked up one of max duo sided sponges I want to use this to like bake under the eyes and like sharpen up contour so it's double sided. So I actually was able to grab another product from the Mariah Carey collection. I totally forgot about this. It's one of the, it's the liner. Um, this is my night is what it's called. It's brown. And I have been like really wanting to try a brown liquid liner. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's that nice gold that matches the, uh, my Mimi. And it's got the little felt tip and it's nice and brown. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. And the last thing that I got from MAC is a repurchase. It's my Prep and Prime for the lips. I love this because it hydrates and it helps your lipstick to stay just that much longer. It's clear. So, so that's it for my MAC goodies. I want to share some goodies that I picked up from Shoe Daisy Shoe Tea. It's an online store that has the cutest shoes and little dainty girly accessories so the first thing i have is this layered necklace here i'm sure you've probably seen it already on my instagram because i was like so excited i couldn't contain myself and then i got this little choker it's like a little denim choker and it has this little bow so it's this little bow and it has this little dangling jewel it is just so adorable had, and then i picked up uh, two pairs of shoes Look at these mules! These are just like the cutest. I love to just throw these on. I usually am wearing all black all the time. So I'll have like a black pair of black leggings and I'll throw this on and it just completely kills the outfit. And they're super comfortable and they're just easy and they're so cool. So why not, right? I don't know if it's like a trend now but the clear heels. Um, I've been wanting to get a pair for a while but I had to find like the right one and I found the right one and it's these it's got actually a black clear heel and then the straps are black clear so that works perfect for me I think I'd have to say maybe this is like four and a half inches but I love them and they're actually very comfortable oh I have to share this with you I think 89% of the brushes that I use are Wayne Goss brushes. Um, other than that, it's MAC and Sigma. So when Wayne Goss came out with a new brush, I was all over it. I So he recently came out with the Artist Brush. Now this is more so a piece of art than anything I have ever seen. So it comes in this really nice box. And here's what the brush looks like. It's like a calligraphy brush. Look at this thing. And it's all handmade. Super soft. Per usual. I'll compare it to two of his other brushes. I mean, it is, it is pretty big. I'm not going to lie. It's big. 
it's a big brush. But I mean, hello, it's literally art on the face or the body. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I had to have it. I mean, look at this thing. Hello. Do you think you'll ever, and I mean, look, you can even hang it. <laughs> Gorgeous. Stunning. What craftsmanship and just superior quality when it comes to wing gloss brushes in general, but this one takes a cake. It takes it to a whole another level. So I picked up the Urban Decay After Dark. So holographic. Can you even see it? Yeah. This is the After Dark eyeshadow palette. It is what I have on my eyes today. And oh, this is an awesome palette. I am so happy that I passed on the Moon Dust because this blows it away. So it does come with that, you know, standard plastic packaging. Prone to fingerprints, whatever, who cares? You wipe it off, life goes on. It comes with a nice mirror, I mean, good quality. And it does come with a double-ended brush as well. And here are the shades. I'll link the tutorial for this look so you guys can see how the shadows perform overall if you're interested. But I got this beauty and I love it. I picked up the Kef on the Alchemist Holographic Palette. Um, it is small, but um, okay. Doesn't make me not want it. I think the packaging itself is stunning, you know, as to be expected from Kat Von D. So it kind of it comes in this triangular shaped. Got a nice mirror in there, and here are the um, here are the shades. I, for me personally, I feel like I'm just gonna use these as eyeshadows or toppers to highlight because I like I like the concept. Yes, they're small, but I personally like the concept. Like there's one that shifts green, one that shifts purple, one that shifts like a pinky gold. I like it and I think it's fun. So I picked that up. This is a Christmas present and I was like so happy to get it. And I'm a little disappointed that they don't have more shades, but I guess I tap off for the darkest shade that this foundation comes in. It's the Lemur. Lemur. The mirror, however you say it, the soft fluid longwear foundation with a SPF of 20. <sighs> this foundation, oh my god, I can see <laughs> why people love it, and I really hope that because it's doing so well, that they expand the range and come out with darker shades. Because, you know, what are you trying to say? A darker skin tone shouldn't have this amazing quality foundation, like that kind of makes me upset. But I was fortunate enough to get this for Christmas and have a shade that matches. And I'm in the darkest shade, which is Honey, number 43. But the hype is real. I picked up the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Highlight Palette. This guy right here. I don't know. When I got it, I mean, I was excited seeing it online. But when I got it, I kind of was faced with the reality of, uh, this is not going to work for me. <laughs> This is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. It's just like the Sweet Peach palette, eyeshadow palette, the construction wise. Here is what the shades look like. I mean, this is bronzer. What the heck? I will never be able to use this as bronzer. This blush, it's pretty. And this highlight, it's okay too. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it in a sense that this is probably more so geared towards light, fair light maybe medium complexions. Probably just throw it in my makeup kit. I can always use more stuff in there. Something that I've been really, really, really looking for. I don't know. It's not that I'm on the hunt for a new powder, but because I love my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder, like it's life. I can't live without it. But I don't know. I've been wanting to try new powders. So I picked up the Givenchy. Uh, the, uh, how the hell do you say this? I don't know. The Prisme Libre. This is a matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder. So it's almost like a contradiction. It says matte radiance. I don't know. Uh, this is in the shade 8. It's what the packaging looks like. It's gold. And it has a combination of like peach, lavender, yellow, and pink powders. Comes with a little puff. 
and ultimately they're all gonna get mixed together I don't see how they wouldn't I mean unless like you only peel off the yellow or if you only peel off the lavender but Givenchy powders are really nice this is a repurchase this is the YSL to Chiclat Bleu primer something I use on the daily this lasted me almost a whole entire year so this is amazing it is a silicone -y kind of primer so this is a primer that I use on the outer perimeters of my face and it has a little gold specks in it so it gives you that radiance and it just allows your foundation to just literally love 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 this stuff I mean yes I have combo skin but like I said I just use it on the outer perimeters with this oh, it is life all right, I have another repurchase. This is from Tatcha. This is the Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. <gasps> this is good and like, wow. <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like. This is, it literally, when you put this on your skin, it absorbs so quickly because it feels like you're just putting water and hydrating your skin. But then it also has these little, um, like, it has gold to it as well. So it gives you a little bit of radiance, but not oiliness. It's just, I love it. Um, I can't really speak on the pore part of it. I don't per se have pore issues, but I do love the way it leaves my skin looking and feeling. And this is a must. This is an absolute must. Like I will always use this and repurchase this. I picked up a hair oil. This is from Verb. It's called the Ghost Oil. This is really, really good. This works really great for people who have finer hair and it works really great for people who have thicker hair. It gives moisture and shine, but it does not leave the hair heavy. And I don't know how they did it, what kind of uh, sorcery is involved, but this is really, really good stuff. I like to have this in my kit for clients when I like to do, when after a blow dry, I just put a little bit on the ends of the hair and then run my fingers through amazing stuff. Now, as you know, I try to live a very healthy and clean lifestyle when it comes to eating habits. This is from Hum Beauty. It is the Raw Beauty Green Superfood Powder. Uh, this is, the claims of this thing is, personally, I picked it up because I wanted like, I don't know, I need, I need to eat all the time. I'm always hungry. So, <laughs> Uh, and I'm a smoothie person like all the time so I figured I could throw this in my smoothie I can have it you know in between meals as like a little snack when I feel like I need to go have a bag of chips but I know that I don't need them type of thing so this some of the claims are that it boosts energy it gives your skin radiance and uh, it boosts your metabolism it's made with all organic raw ingredients it has enzymes and probiotics we all need probiotics for digestion so why not and it's mint chocolate chip life another product from the Too Faced peach launch is papa don't peach how cute it's the uh single blush <laughs> the little peach is so adorable i can't so it does come in this the you know it's very similar to the other peach packaging it has a little mirror and here is what the blush looks like this it this has shimmer to it so I feel like I can probably use this as a blush topper or even as a highlight because it's just so pretty right, here is a skincare product I have always wanted to try these this is a konjac cleansing sponge I don't know if I said that right it's from Boshia Bosha so it's pretty much, <clears throat> it says it's a clarifying sponge for normal to oily skin. It's made It has complexion clearing clay, so I'm interested to see how this performs, what it does. Um, it's always nice to exfoliate, and I feel like this will give me a little exfoliation. Scrubby dub dub. <laughs> so I picked also picked up a few of the Marc Jacobs, the new lippies in the Lamarck liquid lipsticks couldn't get it right. They're called Lamarck Lip Creme. Standard packaging. And this is what it looks like. I like the Marc Jacobs packaging. Super sleek. And I like very much that each shade has a little peekaboo window. So you have the nice standard black packaging, but it has a little peekaboo window so you can see exactly what shade is there. I'm actually wearing one on my lips today called... 460 hot cocoa. Now these are not your typical traditional 
liquid lipsticks in the sense that they don't dry matte so they don't dehydrate the crap out of your lips so they're like raisins now if you're familiar with his regular Lamarck lipsticks these guys then you will definitely love the liquid lipstick form it's very nourishing and moisturizing and it just glides on your lips pigmentation like nobody's business so so good I highly recommend them so I have the shade here hot cocoa it's what I'm wearing comes with a little doe foot applicator and that's hot cocoa I did get one from influencer um, you know, they send me things here and there, you know, complimentary for testing and review purposes. So I was like, what? So I bought two and they sent me one. So the, let me show you. This is slow. This one here is slow burn. It's more pinky. And then truth or bear i like this one a lot too oh my god i like them all truth or bears are even more pinky these two are very similar but like i said this sh the shade range is just like very basic everyday stuff that you know you'll wear but i mean overall the quality is out of this world i really really like these and i hope they come out with more colors with the same formula because it's good very very good so i picked up from Vanity Impressions. This, I think it's the extra large vanity mirror. Okay, I don't want to blind any of you, but this is what she looks like. This one, it comes with, so you, it comes and you can turn the light on and then you hold it and the light gets brighter. Also comes with this magnified mirror and I love this about it. You can turn it. Oh. Or you can turn it back this way. You can tilt it up and low. And I also like that it has this little tray down here. Because as you can see, I've been putting it to good use. These are just like my grab and go everyday necessities of mascara. I've been loving the Laura Mercier Rose Gold uh, Shadow Stick. I like to use that as my inner tear dark highlight. My Kat Von D liner and a my Marc Jacobs a highlighter. So I like that. I like this little thingy a lot. And I, Turn the little switch off to conserve the battery. So this is, uh, I had to get pink. I had to. <laughs> so I really, really like it. So I wanted to pick one up for you guys as well. So for one of you luckies out there, I picked up one in white. And this one, it's not assembled. So I'm just going to show it to you so you know it's all brand new. Because some people like to get really fresh and rude and say, oh, is it used? Like, really? Anyways. This is what it looks like. It comes with the little magnified mirror here, the base, and the actual mirror here. So for anyone interested in entering to win this mirror, all the rules and details and everything will be listed down below in the description box. And good luck! So that was my last haul of 2016. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Whew. It's a new year. Let's see what it has to offer. Thank you guys so much for letting me share all my goodies with you. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.